Hi, my name is Vignes. I'm going to share some thoughts with you today on the Clean Creos that we've been using for the last five or six years. And then the new Clean Creos Pro that we got now. Um, just a bit of thoughts on the old one. Um, and apparently you can still buy them, so give you some thoughts on that. And then what we think about the new one, although we haven't used them, um, just some quick thoughts on them and, and uh, you know, maybe some tips and stuff we can share with you guys. But I'm not sure if you know the history of the Creos, and where they come from. Many, many moons ago, many years ago, in uh, 2008, 2009, 2010, Uvex, the German brand, started making helmets um, because they're in safety equipment. They started making this shell and helmet for BMW and then they, they sold, we, we got them, them sold in South Africa as Uvex. Brilliant helmet at the time because it was carbon fiber, very well packaged, the, the visors were optically correct. Um, very strong stuff and it was, it was um, as helmets go, very good quality. So we started using the, the clean the UVEX at the time uh, in South Africa. I had a massive accident in 2010. I was riding uh, down a highway, Elsby was, was behind me. Um, I went down at about 100 kilometers an hour and as I fell, my head hit a guardrail post, smack, I headbutted that thing properly. The helmet burst, um, I was out for about 15 or 20 minutes, eventually got to hospital, did the MRI scans, and the next day, still in hospital, forehead was blood red from, from eating this thing, um, from the guardian pulse, uh, the doctor told us that <laughs> you haven't seen something like this, that you can survive an impact at from 100 kilometers an hour with a with the head on with a post, and um, you know, you can walk away from it. The helmet burst open and I think it was part of the carbon sh carbon shell that, that, that it dissipated the, the energy um, that well and then the padding and the and the EPS liner that, that's in the helmet. But be it as it may, the helmet did its job very, very well. And since that time we stuck on UVEX, we bought new UVEXs and we kept on use, UV, using them until in 2015 when we got into the USA, we started traveling getting into uh, into bar and the next moment climb shows that they've got this uh, helmet as a uh, clean creos and I was really surprised I was actually quite happy that because UVEX stopped making helmets and obviously climb got the rights or the or the way that they that these guys the companies do they got to use the shell there's two shell sizes in the in the UVEX and they got to use those shell and which is a good thing because this helmet has been sold since 2008-9 all the way. Nishao, it's a German brand. They also use this in a bit of a lower version. They, they don't use all the all the fancy features and stuff. But still a good helmet. So they've been in the game for quite a long time. And then Climb obviously obtained that. And then they started making this, uh, the Creos, as that helmet. And in, uh, in Mexico, our UVXs was done at the time. So we bought the, the Creos. Ship them into Mexico and again, as I always said, do not ship stuff around the world if you're traveling. It's going to cost you on the leg, the same as in Mexico, the import duties was insane. In any case, we've been using the Creos for since 2015. There's about 100,000 kilometers on this helmet, riding daily, 8 hours a day. And um, I have to say, this is a pretty good solid helmet. For the amount of time that we've used this helmet and uh, the head time, it, the fact that this helmet, I can still use it maybe two or three, maybe two years more. Um, the lining on the inside is still good. And it's amazing the fit and, and, and uh, the quality of the, of the helmet that it lasted for this long. The only negative or the only uh, criti criti criticism I can, <laughs> I can give this helmet is that on the visor, this little tabs, start to work out eventually and the little tabs on the helmet so the visor doesn't stay up uh, we fixed that with adding a piece of fabric in between the pin lock and that but that 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 kept on, on going the pin locks worked out but you know you, you can't um, expect them to last all the time so we've used two pin locks in the in this five year period that we had to replace and the little pins but still very good quality i mean for a five year it's 100,000 kilometers. It's all the time on the bike. You know, I think we use them more than the average rider uh, uses the helmets. Um, it's heat, cold. So for that and for the $500, I think it's still on Klein's website um, for the price. This is a darn good helmet and, and it's very good uh, uh, quality that you get with that. The padding is, is exceptional. Like even our
and the shoe is over, over Schubert at home. The padding is not as, is, I don't think the padding uh, comes close to this. So all in all, I cannot fault this helmet. It's a bit noisy. My opinion on noise is this, we've been using earplugs also for the last 12 years. We use Alpine uh, hearing, aid, hearing protection earplugs. Um, it's got a, a little filtering so you can still hear what's going on below 60 kilometers or below 60 decibels. Above that it cuts the noise. So we do not ride without earplugs for a start. So there is no such thing as a, as a quiet helmet. I did a complete article on it which you can find in the link below about earplugs and wind noise and how it makes riding safer. So please check it out. I think you'll find some value in it. But the fact that it's noisy, there's no such thing as a, as a, as a quiet helmet. Um, use earplugs. End of, the, end of the line. Period. Full stop. <laughs> Other than that, there's not much more I can say about this helmet. It's, it's pretty good. Let's have a look at the new Clean Creos Pro. And I'm actually quite excited. It's a bit of a... It's not... It, it looks about the same except for that. Um, there's a ventilation um, piece that you can open or close. The peak is still the same. The shell shape is still there's two shell shapes uh, available in in the in the pro. But the major difference is, is in the the inside the liner, the protective the shock absorbing liner that uh, Climb is starting to use. And the old shell there was the EPS lining, and then in the new shell they've got uh, Coroid. I have to thank Climb for the videos or this part of the video um, as for illustration purposes, but I think you'll get the, the idea. The rest of the video I, I snatched from uh, Coroid's YouTube channel just to add to the to the illustration. Basically, it, it looks like small little tubes, uh, small little straws that is welded together. And I said that the, the, the tubes crumbled instantly and consistently on, the, on impact, absorbing maximum force. Um, what they also state is that traditional helmets materials like EPS solidify when around 60% of the material is compressed, where Corrid can absorb energy using up to 78% of the material's thickness. And then Corrid is also 95% air, which obviously helps with helmet uh, weight and uh, more airflow through, uh, through the helmets. All in all, it seems like a good, good uh, system. Some other nice uh, features that uh, Climb is using on the new helmet is the uh, transition uh, visor, which goes dark uh, in sunlight. Um, and you also get a clear visor with it if you don't want to use that. They do recommend that you do not use the transition visor with the peak. Uh, reason being that if you lift the, the visor up, it's against the peak. It will uh, leave a cross on the on the visor where it doesn't darken, and if you as you close it, it your eyes takes a, a few seconds to adjust, while the the visor goes black again. So they do not recommend it. They've also got the Fitlock uh, strap system now onto it, which is brilliant. Uh, my only reservation is that on the old double D ring, is if you if you ride cold or hot, you can adjust the the tension on your on your chin strap uh, as you want quickly. Where with the new Fitlock. It's not that easy to do it, but the fitlock is, is so easy. It's such a nice with a little magnet. Boop, you clip it in, it's there, it's quick to unlock. Beautiful stuff. The helmet can still um, be used in four different uh, configurations for street, adventure, dirt and trail. We cannot uh, take our visors off because we have no place to store them. So we use goggles. We just pull the, the visor up and we, we use uh, goggles as standard, which is not a problem. And then the other thing, Climb, I think, uses on the new Creos, which is not on the old one, is they've got a Climatex fabric. It's an antimicrobial moisture wigging liner inside, which um, doesn't sweat up and stink as easy as the old one. Not, although the old one didn't stink up that that much, to, to, to be honest. But it was, so they say that the, the new one has got a bit, bit better um, moisture wigging uh, properties into it. In any case, so that's it. It's a, it's a quick uh, rundown on, on this helmet. I'm quite excited to use it. Unfortunately, we can't get back to Bolivia immediately. It will get, going to take another month or two or three maybe even for us to get back because of the, the lockdown and the borders that, that's closed. It's not opening. But um, all in all, I'm pretty pretty uh, stoked about this helmet. The, uh, Climb is giving you a lot of stuff with this helmet for the price. You get a, you get a good warranty. The, the, you get the, the two uh, visors with it. There's a lot of fittings that, that comes with, with it. The pinlock uh, system comes with it. Uh, you get replacement parts for that. 
So all in all, I'm happy with this. I, I think we're going to have a good time. Else we got the white one. There was not a lot of colors available, so I got the Area 51 gray. <laughs> I don't know what they call this color. It's a, bit, it's a really nice color. We'll give some feedback later again. See how it goes. Um, but if you can't afford this one, it's maybe out of your league. This helmet is a bloody good helmet. It's been proven. It's been in the market for a long, long time. It's a, it's a good, good helmet. All in all, go well. Cheers.